In this tutorial, you will learn how to model involute gears, instantly, using our brand new online calculator. Using this calculator, you can model straight. Helical. And herringbone gears in a matter of minutes. The following video segment demonstrates the modeling of a pair of meshing helical gears in just 90 seconds, using this new online calculator. This calculator can be found at www.vinted.com slash instantgear.html. Now let's go over this process step by step. Delete the default cube. Press 7 on the numeric keypad to switch to the top view, and 5 to switch to the orthographic mode. Select 3D cursor as the pivot point. We will be modeling two meshing gears with 13 and 27 teeth, first straight, then helical, and then herring bone. Open a new window and select text editor for the window type. Press the new button. Go to the online calculator at www.vinted.com slash instantgear.html. Enter 13 and 27 for the number of teeth for gears 1 and 2. Leave the other boxes intact. Press calculate. Increase the profile shift value for gear 1 by small increments until the overlap warning goes away. Press Ctrl C to copy the generated Python script to the clipboard. Back in Blender, paste it to the text editor window. Press Run Script. The outlines of two perfectly meshing involute gears have been created instantly. We no longer need the script, so the text editor windows can be closed. Select the smaller gear, press tab to enter the edit mode, and extrude upwards by 10. Create 10 loop cuts. Those will be needed later when we turn the straight gear into a helical one. Select the top row of vertices, press shift s, and select cursor to select it. Add a circle with the same number of vertices as in the current selection. Scale it up. Select the top row vertices, press W and select bridge edge loops. Extrude the circle downwards by 10 and bridge it with the bottom row of vertices. Press tab to exit the edit mode. Our smaller gear is ready. Perform the same procedure with the larger gear.
Let's test these gears for a compatibility using Blender's rigid body physics engine. Put the 3D cursor on the smaller gear. Add a cylinder and move it up. Call it Texas 1. Add an empty and move it up. Call it Hinge 1. Add an empty. Rotate it by 90 degrees around the Y axis. Move it up. Call it Motor. Put the 3D cursor on the larger gear. Add a cylinder and move it up. Call it Taxis 2. Add an empty and move it up. Call it Hinge 2. Go to the Physics tab. Select the smaller gear. Click Rigid Body. Select Mesh for Shape and Zero for Margin. Select Axis 1. Press Rigid Body. Select Passive for Type. Select Hinge 1. Press Rigid Body Constraint. Select Hinge for Type. Select the smaller gear as Object 1 and Axis 1 as Object 2. Select Motor. Press Rigid Body Constraint. Select Motor for Type. Select the smaller gear as Object 1 and Axis 1 as Object 2. Enable the Angular Motor option. Repeat the same process for the second gear, Axis 2 and Hinge 2. Press the play button to start the simulation. Now let's turn these straight gears into helical ones with the helix angle of 30 degrees. Go back to the online calculator. Enter 30 for the helix angle, and 10 for gear width. Press calculate. Copy the twist angle for gear 1 to the clipboard. Back in Blender, select the smaller gear. Add a simple deform modifier. Paste the value from the clipboard to the angle box of the modifier. Press the apply button. Repeat the same process for the second gear. The simulation may not run as smoothly as the first time. This can usually be fixed by applying subdivision to both gears. To turn our helical gears into herringbone gears, let's first remove the bottom faces. Now select the first gear, put the 3D cursor on it and create a mirror reflection of it by duplicating it, pressing S, then Z, then minus 1, then enter. Select everything and press remove doubles. Then press Ctrl N, to fix the normals. Do the same for the second gear. Now press the play button. Finally, let's demonstrate one last feature of the calculator, the extra tip vertex position. 
This feature is useful for creating smoothly shaded gear models. Let's go to layer 2. Bring back the script window and press run script again. Select one of the gear outlines, extrude upwards, and apply the subdivision surface modifier. If you look at the gear from the top view, you will see that the tooth tips are now rounded, and the gear is no longer geometrically correct. Go back to the online calculator. This time, Enter 0.95 for the extra tip vertex position. Press calculate. Copy the script the clipboard. Back in Blender, paste the script to the text editor. Delete all objects. Press run script again. Note that there is now an extra vertex on each side of all teeth. This extra vertex helps preserve the geometrical correctness of the gear when the subdivision surface modifier is applied. And that concludes our tutorial.